Risky Behavior. Boom, boom, boom. What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. How y'all doing? Oh, man, I'm bringing y'all uh, a disturbing video, but it is quite funny to me, right? And the topic for this video is going to be delusional while dating, right? Now, for those who know about the Kendra G Singles Live show, you know that, hey, this is a it's an online dating show, right? People come onto the show, shout themselves out, talk about themselves. Um, they give their contact information with hopes that someone will reach out and get in contact with them. For the purposes of dating, starting a relationship. Um, so far, Kendra G has had three success three success stories of people who met because of her show and they're getting married. And Kendra G says she's even going to the wedding. So that's the whole purpose of the show. The young lady that you see on the screen, she called into the show and she called in for dating, but it's who she's trying to date. So she's trying to date this famous rapper. He's one of the top rappers. Of course, I'm going to play the video and you'll find out who that top rapper is. She says that she's had um, two interactions with this rapper and she heard that this famous rapper watches Kendra G show. So she came on the Kendra G show to um, see if that famous rapper will see this show and then reach out to her. Now, Needless to say, Kendra G and the cousins think that this lady is being a bit delusional and they just can't understand, number one, why she even wants to date this rapper because he doesn't have the best track record. And number two, why she thinks he would want to date her. So cool. So that's what we're talking about. Be sure after the video to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now, I'm going to give my thoughts, and then I'm going to play the video. Try not to be too long winded with this. OK, so being delusional when dating can have significant negative consequences on an individual's emotional well-being and relationships. When someone is delusional in the context of dating, they may have unrealistic expectations distorted perceptions of reality or cling to false beliefs about themselves or their partner. This can lead to a disconnect between what is truly happening in the relationship and what the individual believes is happening, creating a breeding ground for misunderstandings, conflicts, and disappointments. Now, being delusional may prevent someone from seeing red flags or toxic behaviors in a partner leading to staying in unhealthy or abusive relationships. Moreover, it can hinder personal growth and self-awareness as facing reality and addressing one's shortcomings or relationship issues becomes challenging when one is entrenched in a delusional mindset. Overall, being delusional when dating can impede genuine connections, breed insecurity, and hinder the development of healthy, fulfilling relationships. It is crucial for individuals to strive for self-awareness, realistic expectations, and open communication to foster genuine and meaningful connections with others. Boom. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm in a casino. Oh, at the casino. Is yeah. this okay? We could go live at the casino? Um. Yeah, but I'm stepping outside. Okay. What's your name, baby? I'm, my name is Janelle, but I go by Nelly. Nelly. Okay. Me, want me to call you Nelly? Yeah, you can call me Nelly. Nelly, where you call me from, boo? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Stop moving, honey. How old are you? I am 34. 34. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a claim specialist, and I also do real estate. Okay, again, stop moving, honey. Real estate. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Nelly, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm telling you to stop moving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> stop, You're stop a Libra. Do you have any kids? I do have one son. How old is your son? 13. Can you hold All right. Let's do it. We got Nelly, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, acclaimed specialist, and also does real estate. Um, mom to a 13 year old. 
How could, what kind of man you looking for? I'm looking for, I'm actually like reaching out to someone specific, Kendra. I messaged you. I'm not going to tell the crowd who he is, but um, I actually reached out to a celebrity and like I told him, like had someone deliver him like edibles and then like I see him on stage and I gave him a gift. So I don't want to say who this celebrity is, but. What know, does he do? He's a rapper. Uh, Janelle, Nelly? We can't hear you. We can't hear you, baby. Is this guy trying to say? We cannot hear you, honey. We can't hear you. I, I need to hear the rest of the story. Oh, my God. Yeah, her internet now started messing up. Because I need to hear the rest of the story on how, what rapper you send edibles to. Who is this? So, Nelly, get your Wi-Fi together. Oh, wait, wait. I think she's back. I'm back. Hello? Yes, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm Wait a minute. Calling. So, name one of the songs. I can't because you're going to know. I don't want people to like be in my like box and I don't want to cause that type of attention. But okay, so You know, when, when you first start off this video, she seems like kind of sweet and naive, right? And so when I say, you know, she's delusional, I, I'm not saying it in the mean way. She seems like a sweet girl, but you can even tell, like, way the video starting off, she, she's a bit naive, you know. So, do I know the guy? Because you do. I reached out to you to tell you, like, that I sent it and I sent you a picture, but like, I don't want that. Type What's of your Instagram? You you DM'd it to me. I won't say I his name. I DM'd it to you. you. Okay. What's your Instagram? Beauty 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 Thirty Two. Oh, sorry. Um, and we did like we like connect. Wait, what is wait? What is your Instagram? Spell it slow. B e a u t y, b I guess that's what I'll say it so. B again, b e a u t y, b e a u t y again, and then a third time, and then thirty two on the end. Girl, you're going too fast. Beauty, so beauty three times. You're you you went out. Hello. You know what it is. Hello. Put your I put your phone on do not disturb. Okay, she's back. You put your phone on do not disturb? No, do I, can I you do that? It. You um, need to do that, I think that's what it is. Okay, let me put it on do not disturb. Do you want me to okay. read this DM? I found a DM you sent me, do you want me to read it out loud? No. <laughs> oh, don't read it out loud. Okay, let me read it real quick. You don't want me to read it out loud. Um, She's reading it. Let me show back. No. Oh. You can't type. Okay, so Nelly, I can't see your face. Yes. Okay, we need the light. We need the light. Oh, All needs right. Light. So Nelly, what do you want from me? Like, what is your, what is your goal? I can't hear you. Did you put your phone on Do Not Disturb? I don't recommend this, honey. Hello? Hello? Do you have the phone on mute this time? I do. I blocked everybody. I blocked my babysitter, too. Your babysitter? I didn't even get to that. Okay, you just put in. She called me a second ago. And um, this is Nellie Tam. That's disturbing what she just said. <laughs> you that, that desperate, you would block your babysitter? Really? What if something happened with the... I mean, as a 30 year old, but still anything can happen. Why would you admit that? Why would you block your babysitter? You need to always. A 34 Libra, a claim specialist in real estate, mom to a 13 year old. But she DM'd me. I, I never saw the DM until tonight. I just went to her page and I went. Come hold the phone. And I went to the message. And basically there's a rapper who she likes and she's trying to get the rapper's attention. Now, you don't want to say the rapper's name. So how are you going to use my, my platform to get his attention? Because I feel like he knows what I've sent him. My The thing is, the card when I sent the edibles, the card got rained on because it rained. I mean, I'll tell you where the card got mailed, but I just don't want to say who it is. But wait, did you? where did you send the edibles to? Miami. One of his Miami homes. How do you know his address? It was leaked online a long time ago. Girl, that's a stalker. You a stalker. 
How? It was there. It was in the public records. I didn't go looking for it. It was just there. You did go looking for it because you had to go to the public record to get it. No. When it was leaked online, I found out about it. A, a friend of mine knows that I'm in love with him and seen it. So she sent it to me. But if he's a... And the dude who it is, he, he has money. Like, who's to say that he, he was there at the Miami home? Even if that is one of his homes, who's to say that that's mainly where he stays or that he would even be there? And that is absolutely stalkerish. Why would that? Ooh, a stalker sent me an edible arrangement. Who the hell would eat some something somebody sent them? Why would that even be a nice thing to send? Like, I would think somebody was trying to poison me. That ain't something that you would want from anybody. You know, you wouldn't even be, even if you wasn't a famous person, that wouldn't be like, ooh, I'm not even famous and somebody thought enough to send me this. I'm like, I'm not eating that crap. Throw that away. Like, seriously. Girl, you don't think this is an obsession? I mean, I didn't go there. I just said I had. Wait, wait, wait. How do you, but listen, you don't even know this man. How can you love him? I mean, not love him, but I'm just saying, like, I'm attracted to him. I'm strongly attracted to him. So in the, I, I, I won't, you told me not to read the DM you sent me, right? You can read it because it doesn't say his name in there. I was trying okay, to so think, but it said. Okay, she sent me this DM. You sent me this DM earlier this month. Well, last month in March. Right, right. And the DM says, Kendra, I actually have a question. I need a little advice. I delivered edible arrangements to someone that's a celebrity, hoping to get their attention. I tried to think outside the box. And I know for people who are rich and famous, sometimes people in their circle forget about them. But I'm honestly so attracted to him. If he didn't have the fame or the money, I would still want him anyways. Right. Just thought I would see what, what you think, please, um, need. Um, you need an advice column. I would love to, I would love to re remain anonymous, by the way. Thanks for, all, for, thanks for saying this. Well, you're not anonymous now because right. I just read this with your face. Um, girlfriend, I would I'm going to be honest with you. Stop. You're doing too much. Right. You're doing too much, honey. If this man, I mean, he probably got the edible arrangement and was spooked the hell out. He's probably like, how the hell does this person have my address? Right. And that's scary. And this right. is not going to turn him on. You know, I want to just keep it real. You're coming across as a fan slash groupie. Yeah. And, and I don't know who it is, but if he's a famous rapper, women do this all the time. And the likelihood of him, this turning him on and saying, I'm going to diss every woman in the world. No, this is kind of stalkerish, honey. I don't expect him to diss every woman in the world. I was just hoping that it would bring some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, would see, like be curious of who's sending, you know? and just Yeah, like I, I would be curious and then I would call the cops. Like if someone sent me something to my house, I would then, uh, my next phone call would be the police of how do they have my address? Because right. I would be scared. I mean, right, I didn't go I didn't go there because, again, I would be embarrassed. And, again, I wouldn't know what to say. I don't do that. Yeah, but the, but the point of the matter is you are a stranger and you have this home address. That's scary. Public. You know, like, what else, you know, what else do you know that he probably don't want you to know? But why are you so obsessed with this man? There's not... Regular guys that you you don't want to date a regular guy. I am. I, I mean, I'm interested in that too. But I just feel like the regular guys that I'm interested in. I mean, or that I that are interested in me. It's like they text too much, and it's like they come on too strongly. Um, I don't know. It's like I'm at the casino now, and it's like. I got to so those guys come on too strongly, but she's not coming on too strongly. Sending stuff to people's house? And you think other women haven't done... You thought... You think that your gift was the only gift that showed up that day? Or that week? Or that month? Like, my goodness. Like, please stop. It's, it, all his other addresses probably got the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Got a gift as well. It's like... Poor thing, poor thing. She really think that she did something that nobody else did. That that's insane. Like seriously. Question. And again, she's not telling us a rapper, but do like you do you wanna you wanna what do you want with this rapper? You want an exclusive relationship or you just want to meet him? Like what are you what's your goal? 
honestly, like you said, you can't say something. You can't genuinely say, oh, I want a relationship, and you don't know a person. I would just love, like, a date night with him and just see what happens. Um, That's it. You know, I, I can't promise anything else because I don't know him. So that's about it. So you want, now on this date, would you pay for the date? No. <laughs> so you're trying to get him to take you on a real date. Right. Do you not think you're coming across as a groupie? No, because I've met him before, but I was so afraid of rejection. We were at the club. So I gave him the gift and I ran away. Wait, I thought you sent him the gift. So the, that's the edibles I sent. But when I met him at the club, I gave him the gift, but he was like, what gift did you give him at the club? I gave him a um a different gift at the club. It what was did you give him? Polo boxers and a polo scarf. So you handed this rapper polo. Did you guys have a conversation? No, I think he was honestly. I think he was hot. <laughs> he had on like you, shit, so I couldn't see his face. So you went. Now was it a club appearance he had? Yes. So you went to the club appearance. You brought him what again? I got him polo black boxers and a polo scarf. Because and you I, handed him the polo boxers and then you walked away? Yes, because it was so loud. I felt like I was just scared. Okay, so you made two attempts. And I'm, I'm assuming that you leave your contact in each attempt in the edibles and the polo boxers? The first one, I don't know. I don't know if I left a contact. But the second one, I definitely did. But it rained. So I don't know if. So you're thinking you 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 think edible arrangements doesn't know how to protect stuff in rain? No, the guy called me when he was there and he goes, um, he has like a gate blocking his um his thing and no one's home, so he left it on the side of his mailbox. So I'm like, oh my god! So I don't even know if he got it. That dude, how many of y'all want to bet that that dude ate that um, edible arrangements? <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. It's like, I show up, the gate closed. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna let this go to waste. I know where it came from because I picked it up. Now, the person who is receiving it, um, they don't know, right? But me, I picked it up, so I know, and I know this person ain't gonna get it. So I'm gonna eat it and I'm just telling you like, yeah, the gate block and it rained, right? Jesus. But I know that he has a camera right there that like when you drive in, you can see. So I feel like if he knows who sent the gift, you know, maybe he'll be curious and like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Now let me say this. I'm not God. So I I never like to say things as absolutes. Um, because you know, I'm not God. Who knows? Right. God can make anything happen. I truly believe that. But I will tell you, as a person. I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I live in the celebrity world. I have a lot of celebrity friends. Right. Um, but if if a stranger did this to me, I would be scared and I would be calling the cops. It doesn't make you, this doesn't, you're not making yourself desirable. You're making yourself come across like a goofy. And going to the club and giving them polo boxers. And then there's a deal. If if a person wants to date you seriously, mm -hmm. you, you have to be confident, right? You have to be able to talk to them and not act like a fan. So right. it's like, you're saying you fanned out. Basically, you saw him in person. But, and I only fanned out because, like you said, I, I guess it was scary for him as in, oh, you know, like, do I take this bag? And I'm like, yeah, it's for you. So, I mean, I guess I just got, like, weirded out. Like, I mean, he's either taking the gift, like you said, as a fan. But, I mean, when I come off, I'm not trying to, like, autograph. I want, you know, to talk to you. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, all men that you liked in the past, were you were you this aggressive? Did you buy them gifts and stuff in the beginning? No. So why are you buying him gifts? Um, I guess I just wanted to catch his attention. So I just felt like, you know, maybe it'll catch his attention. I don't know. I, I haven't seen anyone at the concerts do it. And it was his birthday. So that's why I got the gift. When I so, went okay, so what was your goal for coming? But see, that's my thing. Wouldn't she have had better um, relationships in the past if she put that effort into it? You know, just a guy on her level. Um, if she would have just, you know, maybe thought about those guys and treated them like they were somebody special and got them a gift, maybe she wouldn't be looking to date somebody right now. She might be have been somebody's wife already. If she would have put that same effort, that same care into um, those men, you know, it, it just makes you think, right? If If you could do that. Over over here, you could have did that 
over there. You know, it, it just makes you wonder, it's like, why you, what you're doing would be fine if you were actually dating this person. It's like, why you didn't put that effort um, um, towards those other people in the past? And you accuse them of coming on too strongly and you kind of like, I guess it seems like you half assed those relationships or those dating experiences. Why you didn't do the same thing? It's just weird. It's just all around just weird. It's risky behavior. Hey, are you trying to give him a message? I just wanted him to know that I was the one that got the gifts so that if he is curious and like, but you said, we don't know who the guy is. We have to know his name. I can't say his name, Kendra. I feel well, like. Well, then how is this message gonna get across? We don't know if the guy like. Is this not every rapper is watching my show? So you know you would have to say his name if you really want a message to get to him. I mean, I feel like he's he watches your show, so I feel like he's gonna. How do you know he watches my show? He's my friend. He's not your friend, but I've seen like people that he knows watch your show, so I don't know. So how do you figure he watches my show? I don't know. I just, I guess I just assume. So you're coming up here. You're not going to say his name and you're trying to get a message across to a rapper who you once gave, you met on the club at his birthday. When was, when, when, when did you go to the club? Last year in November. So his birthday is in November. What city? Was it a club of parents? No, it was a club in Miami. Do you want to give any type of hint? <laughs> Tell us why. I guess, like, like you said, just coming this live. If he didn't, you know, what I'm saying, if, like you said, if it comes off stalkerish, I don't want to seem like that girl. Like, oh my god, you know. So that's uh, too late. We don't. We we way past that. You, but, you, I, but I just, I, I mean, I don't think you. You don't think things out fully because if you don't want to share his name, that's fine, I guess. But there's, we don't know. We don't know who this is, so there's no way that he can get this message. I think he will. He knows. Like, I looked him dead in his face when I gave him the gift for his birthday. Girl, so, if he's a famous rapper. Do you know how many women he's... I have people that come on my show that I've literally had conversations with and do not remember when they come back on a second time. I'm not trying to bust your bubble, but if he's as famous as you're saying, he meets women every single day. Why would he remember you? He does. I mean... I don't know. I'm just saying. I really don't want to say who he is because I don't want people in my DMs like, oh my God, really? You thought you were going to have a chance with him? So that's why I really don't want to say who he is. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, someone said, someone said his future, his birthday is November 20th. It's future. So you want to be baby mama number eight? No, I didn't say I was looking for a baby. It's, it's like, what are you looking for? Is I, you know what? And I didn't know me and future birthday was that close. Mine's is um the twenty fifth. Um, <laughs> and that explains explains why I've always liked um future his music and stuff. But um, yeah, I didn't know I didn't know that. But <laughs> so what is she? I'm not looking for a baby. <laughs> why would this be? <laughs> He's like guaranteed, you know, no matter how, how you feel about future, he's the tip top when it comes to the um music, you know, um when it comes to rap artists, right? And you think that this polo boxes and polo scarf was gonna make this happen. I but you know what? I don't think anything that she believes is gonna happen, I don't think it's gonna happen at all. But I do have something to look forward to in the future to to see if this works. I really am. I really am. And I got to find out her Instagram so that I can follow it. Because I would guarantee that the thing she's doing is not going to lead to anything at all. Uh, date a man that has eight baby mamas? I mean, I would want to date him. I mean, I think... I think judging someone and not know. And hold on. This is the other part that bothers me, right? Is that you have a son that is 13 years old and you're on the internet doing this? Like, how? 
some of these people don't even care how they look when it comes to you don't care how this makes you you know you have a mom a dad parents family you don't care how this makes them look you don't care that um your son's your son and his your child i think she has a 13 year old son or daughter but anywho it doesn't matter if it's a young man or a young woman you don't care that them and their friends are on the internet or how this makes them look you're on the internet doing this engaging in this behavior this is somebody's parent that's doing this my god full story i mean i'm i would opt out of that but but, I'm not- but, but okay but what turns you on about future because have you seen them treat women in a way you want to be treated i did i can say that's um that's you i didn't see him treat her in no type of way lori harvey the same so, so, so what is it about future that you like, honey? Um, I love the way he dresses. I love how nice he is. Um, I mean, again, like I said, I've met him before and he was genuinely nice. That's why I said, I don't want to judge that because I haven't been in that seat before. So it's unfair for me to judge that. If so that you makes- want this most, okay. You want one of the most popular rappers in the world, um, to take you out on a date, of course, that he would have to pay for. And to take you seriously as a dating option. I mean, I would think that anyone, anyone that wants to date with someone, they would hope that someone takes them seriously, of course. But I'm not looking to get married tomorrow. So it's like, it goes by what you're looking for as well. And I'm not look, I'm not asking um, for marriage from him. I'm not asking to be anyone's baby mom. I have a son already. So it's like, it also goes by that as well. Girlfriend. I say this with as much love as I could possibly find a way to say it. Let it go. Focus on a person that could be a real option for your life. This is madness. This is madness. And you got more pay questions. Oh, God, child. Shout out to the cousins who figured out who it was. I literally would not have figured it out. I mean, oh, a couple of people are saying it's future, it's future, it's future. I guess they're figuring it out. This one said, she's calling from a casino. Is she trying to be taken serious? She said, uh, present differently. This is a bad look. It's a bad look because I'm calling from the casino? That's what, um, sir, That's what I'm trying to be I totally disagree. She could have called from the White House. It, this call would have went the exact same way. This is a bad look. I don't care where she called from. What she was wearing, it didn't matter. It gives off stalkerish vibes. It does. It ain't nothing wrong with her liking future if she liked future. Um, I think if anything, if she had a chance, I think she missed that opportunity, right? Because when she met him and she handed him the gift, the boxes and the um scarf, that could have been a nice little icebreaker. That was your opportunity. You could have met him. You could have talked to him. You maybe could have hung out with him for the night. Whatever. That's gone. But when you go from that to sending things to where a person lives and then you're on the internet doing this, it's like, nah. It, that moment where you met him, that's over and done with. And you could have played it cool, right? Because you could have saw him on his birthday, whatever, whatever, boom, 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 right? You could have waited to his the, the next year, his birthday, and you could have went to his birthday party again, got him another gift. He might have he might have remembered you then. So you got me something last time, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking out for you because I know you always buy everybody else drinks, and I just want to be the one to buy you something, you know. And that, that could have maybe worked, but... The stalkerish sending stuff to people's house, that's too far. And it's crazy to me. She could probably get away with that because she is a woman. But if a man did that, that it'll be automatic. No questions asked. He's a stalker, right? And that's just crazy, you know. So this person leaving a, ch- a chat, oh, she's calling from. It don't matter where the hell she called from at all. It is what it is. It's on the show now and it's over and done with. She's not even... um Cause I'm pretty sure there's other women that have um, pursued him because of who he is, but the way she went about it is all wrong. It's all wrong, and she can't even get outside of herself and 
from the outside looking in and, and see the situation. And this is where the thing that I um, when I read off my idea earlier, the way I put it together was that that is delusion. She's not even able to step back and say, hey, how does this make me look to this person? Is this the best way to go about meeting this person and talking to them? Is this the best? And I think if she had that ability to do that, she would have easily said, oh, no, no, I'm not sending nothing to his house. I had an opportunity to meet him. I gave him a present. Cool. I wait till the next time I see him. Maybe he'll remember me. Maybe he won't. But I'm not going to cross that line and send something to somebody's house. And um, somebody's house, their home, that's sacred. That's their privacy, man. You you don't do that and, and expect to get a, a, a good outcome from that. It's not. It's risky behavior get on the show forever then i mean it didn't matter where i'm coming from cc said okay that's another one cc said just curious how do you know if he has cameras if you never actually went to his address when the when the the delivery driver delivered it um he put the camera that way and he, it, you could see the camera and this is his personal home i mean i guess so what Truth Art said, is she self-aware? Are you serious? I mean, again, I, I'm not going to. Exactly. Is she self-aware? Is she serious? And you mean to tell me that Future was looking on his camera, saw somebody delivering some edible arrangements, and the, the driver was on the phone with you doing this. And that's a good look. No, she's not self-aware. But she is serious. To respond to your questions, because I don't care what people in the comments are saying. I mean, you're not brave enough to do it. So, I mean, it ain't no joke. So, Samaka said, um, I said, um, I said she looking to screw and give him a baby. No, I'm not. What are you, what are you looking for? Is that First your thought. friend? Is that your friend? Yeah, this is my friend. Okay, let me, let me talk to your friend. This, this be the problem. You don't think what your friend is doing is 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 crazy? I just want to say something, and I say this all the time. When you see their friends, when you see the people they hang around, it makes sense. It's always like, why? This doesn't make sense. You know, things in life don't make sense. Sometimes people don't make sense, right? But when you see their friends, you see who they're hanging around, you see how they think. It make perfect sense. And this is who's encouraging this risky behavior that she is displaying. I don't think so. No, we Tell me think why. Anything is possible. As a real estate broker, we see things all the time. She sees people sending ar edible arrangements. We see stuff all the time. So it's not really. Well, okay, so do you think that, okay, have you, do you know any success stories? What the hell being a real estate broker got to do with a damn thing? She's. <laughs> what the hell that got to do with it? As a real estate broker, I see things all the time. You see what all the time? You see um, famous people getting edible arrangements and it leads to a relationship it leads to marriage you see that all the time like because you're a real estate broker that's the cool that's the field that you see things like that all the time really <laughs> it made no sense to me but it made sense to them i i don't know i guess with rappers that this is happening this is gonna be a success story mark all words Mark all words. This will be your first success story, but as a real estate broker, my friend sees it all the time. We see these things all the time. As Tampa okay, well, hold on real quick. Well, hold on. I, I, I wish I had a marker so I could mark them words. <laughs> I have a few success stories from the show, so it, it would not be the first success story. And I'm asking you as her friends. You're saying you as a real estate. Do you guys honestly just, as her friends, feel as though her... Having his address, which he didn't give to her, she which goes part? to send him an edible arrangement. You don't think he would think that this is a stalker? No, no. We, we we believe she's thinking outside the box. At the end of the day, we know these. It and let this here, now let this here be a lesson. Quite possibly, 
and this is scary, right? That you got people that get friends that maybe know how to get on a computer. They may have access to certain documents. And that is a security risk, right? She's telling on herself, oh, as a real estate broker, I see this all the time, stuff like that. And I'm not accusing nobody of nothing, but I would not be surprised if she's selling people's information. I wouldn't be surprised. That is scary to think that she could quite possibly be selling people's information or getting people's information, having things like this done. That is not cool to do. Famous people don't like it. Regular people don't like it. Nobody wants um, somebody knowing where they um, stay. I know ultimately people, you know, usually nothing happens and people do know where people stay at. But that's scary to think that somebody has um, your address and they're just seeing things to you. And this is their form of dating, of getting your attention. And so when she keeps saying, oh, I'm a real estate broker, this and this and that, that tells me like, wow. So you're the one that's getting this information for um for people that hey oh you want to know where someone famous stay or this and this and that that's what that sounds like to me i'm thinking that okay you're selling information right like am am i the only person that is thinking that like seriously i'm thinking you're giving away people's information is what you're doing and saying oh this is going to work this is going to be your ticket to the money to the fame to everything that you want it's going to work it's going to work because I got the information and I wouldn't be shocked if, hey, if the future thing don't work, I know how to get a touch. I know how to get the address of other famous people and and put that out there, too, for you so that you can send things to um, their address. Right. It, it's this is scary. And they're talking so fast and they're just hanging out. They're not thinking about what they're saying. But that's what it sounds like she's saying. It, it really, really does across as a stalker but we we see it as taking outside the box just like when that girl threw that bra at drake that was outside the box and guess what that girl got to deal with victoria's secret anything is possible you never know what could be the one thing that makes you successful you never know where she's in it for fun she's not trying to get married to him this is just for fun and it's gonna work and we're gonna be a success story we're gonna be behind her a thousand percent a thousand what? percent Real quick, what was the story you gave about Drake? What was the example? When that girl threw that big old bra on stage with Drake, nobody knew she was going to turn into a Victoria, Victoria's Secret model. She thought outside the box. Okay, but right now your friend is trying to get Future to date her seriously. That's okay. a different goal. You never know. I mean, my friend looks very good. The only thing you, at the end of the day, the only thing you need is the right place at the right time. If, if the right place may be Future's mindset right now, and after he receives it, he might be at the right place, might mind, right mind frame to be like, hey, let me let me do this. Let me do that. I mean, you we have know. other links to him now. We have um, producers in the industry that she got access to. OK, so let me ask you that. Okay, go... so, OK, so real quick, if y'all have other links, producers, why didn't y'all go that route? If y'all know people that know him for real, because why did y'all not go there instead of calling me? He really respects you. Like, I don't watch your show, but I'm going to move it forward. You know, but he really you, respects you and want to go through you. Oh, she really respects me. But what I, yes. well, I always tell people this. If you have a direct connection, you should use your direct connection. So if you're saying you have friends that know Future directly that are your friends, y'all should be focused on thing, this. But one thing I know don't as a businesswoman, word of, mouth, word of mouth is the number one topic of marketing. So, no, I mean, but listen, hear me when I hear what I'm saying. You just said that y'all have direct connections to future. We so do you have direct connections to future. You should, why my, cousins, you? my cousins are in the industry as well. Okay, so hold on. Let me that finish what I'm saying, honey. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is, if you have a direct connection to future, then why don't you use those connections? She could, she could, but she's not trying to, you know, go in sneaky. She's just trying to get the word out because word of mouth is very important. That's a top marketing. Go piece. back to Nelly real quick. Nelly, where you at, honey? Here you go, baby. They want to do the Kendra cam. Everybody wants you to do the Kendra cam. Okay, yeah. Yeah, bad as hell. Don't play with it. Okay. You do have a nice shape. Very but... nice. Okay. Okay. We got some more paid questions. Here we let go. Let me say, let me answer, let me answer a question that you asked her. Because the okay. person that I knew that was connected to him was like, don't do it. Why would you want to do that? And I'm like, because if that's who I'm attracted to, you yeah. want who you want. It's like you're going into a car. But they like, have to want you back. And if a person that knows him directly told you not to do it. That's not what he, No, huh? that's not what he said. 
Yeah, I, I don't want to say anything about the Kendra camp because, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder and stuff. I, it, this video is not about bashing anybody or anything like that. This is just a great example about operating in um, delusion when you're trying to date or trying to be with somebody and meet, or even if you're just trying to have a friendship, right? No matter the relationship, if you're delusional, you're not seeing the mistakes that you're making. You're not seeing where you're going wrong about this and it's what you're doing is not right. You know, um, because even if, um, this person is not romantically into you, you're ruining the um, potential chance of even having just a friendship with somebody. You could be somebody cool that they want to hang out with and you could still have a, especially if you're talking about a famous and rich person, you still could have a relationship that's beneficial, even though it may not be romantic, may not be any sex involved, but they still would be a good friend to have. So I, I just think she's going about it the wrong way. I think if she was able to get close enough to him to give him a gift before, and that's something that she did for him. I think the next time she saw him on his next birthday and she did it again, it was a small possibility. He could have recognized her and um, he could have said, hey, you know what? You cool, man. Come hang out with us and stuff like that. And, you know, it's the same thing like with me and my brother. When we used to be out at the club all the time, I hang, hung out with people that was famous rappers. But I mean, I wasn't doing what she's doing or trying to, you know, you just hanging out. Um they might have a bottle. They might buy you a drink. You might buy drinks for everybody and stuff like that. We would just be in the club and do things like that. I never thought about it. I never even thought to get their contact information. I was just hanging out with them regular. And then, you know, we might go to the club again. They see you again, dap you up. All right, man, what's up, man? Hey, y'all want to come to our section? Man, hell yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? And then I remember me and my brother, um, we was doing music at the time and I've, you know, um, held my phone up in the club. Like, Hey, what you think about this? And they listen to it. Like, Hey man, you need to do this, switch this around. Um, do this. Hey man, this verse start off with this verse. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's that verse harder than this verse. That's a good, you know, intro and stuff like that. So you meet people all the time, but just play it cool. Don't cross the line of sending something to their home. Just play it cool. If you hang out all the time anyway, you in the club, you know, producers and us, me and my brothers going back and forth to the studio. You run into people all the time. I've been in the studio with producers that I didn't know produce records for other people. I'm like, oh, you did his record? They're like, yeah, I did this work. I did this one. Oh, you know, so you run into people naturally and they're just like everybody else, you know, and they like to be around people that treat them like they're human. They don't want to be around somebody that would go so far as to sneaking and finding out their address. So to say something negative about her, like, oh, she's not pretty enough. Scratch all that. That's that's bull crap. I would not ever say that about somebody. But it's her attitude. It's her behavior. You're giving off stalker vibe. You don't send something to somebody's house. Just be a human, be a regular person. If you're really out there and you're hanging out, you go hang out with your friend at the studio, maybe do a little bit of music. Um, you might go if they have an event or a party and you eventually meet that person and be around them. You don't have to do things like send things to their house, man. Just be human, be a regular, cool individual. That's all you got to do. He never passed the message. He said, I don't think you should do it. Because you know what I'm saying, like if you just want like a, a fuck he thing, wants you back. right? But he never even presented the offer. He's like, "You're a nice girl. I don't think that you should go that route." He never even presented, you know what I'm saying, or, or did anything. Not saying that like, you know what I'm saying. I, I want him to. I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying. You don't. You're not gonna just stop there. I mean, but case after this. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to do anything. I just wanted to bring it to your attention and have you pass the message across. Because I would be curious, like, who sent this? I don't think he, girl, if if these people, he probably was at home. I, I, I'm still stuck on you sending and you have his address. That was spooked me the hell out. But, you know, celebrities have house people. He probably never even got it. They probably ate the edible arrangements or they probably called the cops. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, Kyra said, birds of a feather. 
So I think she's talking about you and your friend. Oh, birds of a feather go together. Okay. Um, Talala said, "Delusional land." We're not delusional just because she. It's gonna be delusional. But, but you know what? Don't don't respond to the comments because again, it's always gonna be something. Right. Okay. This person said, "West Mode Forty Women keep women single. She needs new friends." You need new friends because you don't have a you're you're not living in a reality world. You have to be different. That's delusion. Some one person's delusion is another person's reality. Like that's insane for you guys to say that you're you're supposed to sit at home and wait for a celebrity to find you. No, sometimes you have to go out there and find a celebrity. How, really? By any means. They regular people too. They like nice shit too. They like new ideas too. What the fuck? But okay, Zahande 07. Zahande 07 said her friends is just as low as she is. Right. right, but you're at home looking sad and we're at the casino having fun. <laughs> so, next. Okay. Melanie says she needs better friends. Here's one. Here, here's one. Here's one for y'all. Mr. Albert said, let her manifest it, Kendra. Exactly. Anything is possible. Listen, Future might be on his life. Future might see this. A shit. That's so silly. He put the crying laughing emoji, right? Because he's being funny. He's not being serious. <laughs> they think that he's on their side. <laughs> Anything can happen within the next five minutes, five seconds, five years, whatever. The same, the same thumbs that y'all bending y'all fingers to write these comments to is the same thumbs y'all going to be wiping the tears off and crying for when y'all see this girl with future. So whatever. Okay, the, the Iba family said, girl, sit down. You sound like a straight stalker. At this point, you really need to seek mental health. Right. Okay, help us then, since you know so much. You're a straight talker, but you're seeking seeking people on the internet like this. Like, come on now. I'm not gonna argue with nobody on the internet. It's gonna go. It's always gonna be yay or nay. So I mean, right. What I said what I said. I came on the show to say what I wanted to say, and that's let's it. not turn this into. I mean, more again, life. even if he doesn't talk to me, at least I was brave enough to do it. Right. That was it. <sighs> Nelly. Um. Okay, so we got the rapper's name. So the goal now is if Future gets this message, let's just say Future gets this message and he sees this. What do you want to say to him directly? I mean, I wouldn't say anything to him directly. I mean, I would hope what that What I'm he saying would... is, no, you came on the show to read right. the message. He would, I would hope that he would message me and that would be it. I mean, we would take it from there. Okay, so you want, so, so the goal is for Future to see this and then DM me. Right, right. What exactly. is your DM? Um, my Instagram is beauty, 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 32. Oh, you told me that earlier. That's right. Beauty, 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 32. Now, just to be clear, that's the only man you're interested in. It's not the only man I'm interested in. It's just the only man that I've been trying to get a, a attention right now. Okay. So, all right, girlfriend, if, if future DMs you, please give me an update. I sure will. Are we paying for that interview? We'll be up there. Paying pay for an interview? Y'all call me? What you talking about paying for an interview? Y'all call me? I didn't ask you to be on this show. He get hot, baby. I well, didn't he ain't getting nothing. Y'all call me. I ain't call you, so I'm you paying for an interview. Show. We support your show. So what that got to do with it? You call me and I'm supposed to pay you because you call I me? Called, I you called you. Call. I didn't say that. Right. Child. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. Keep me posted how it goes, boy. Mm-mm-mm. Well, there you have it. We all got to have a dream. And like the late, great Michael Jackson said, don't you climb trees? Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.